Hello, hello. This is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am out in the Bluebird Bungalow, and I am excited to share something with you that I've been working on. But first, I would like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Truly, it's amazing. I appreciate all of your support and your comments. And if you're new and you have found this channel by searching in YouTube, um, welcome. So glad to have you here. I hope that what you see that you'll like and you will subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Make comments. Ring that bell. <laughs> you know the routine. It really does. When you interact with me, it does help my numbers and gets people um, driven into my channel so that they can find out what we do here. So I think in some of my previous videos, I was talking about that I am making journals for all of my family, all of my children and their spouses and my grandchildren. And I'm trying to make them make the journals specific to their either their colors they like or some of the things they like to do. I just sent my eldest son Eric's off to him. He is a cyclist, he's a hiker, and he's a do-it-yourselfer around the house. Basically he does lots of honeydews for his sweet wife. I created some log books for him to log his cycling and his hiking and his um, some project planner pages for his do-it-yourself. But what I was excited about is that I looked on YouTube because I wanted to do some paper clips like for page markers or tabs and I found two YouTubers that have come up with a fun and easy way to make a hidden paper clip. The first one I found was Spark Bird, B-I-R-D. Awesome, awesome. And I think there was something else that I linked her to recently, but an amazing, amazing artist. Just great. I think you'll enjoy watching her. And also Bohemian Crafting. I will link them down below in the description. But so after watching them, I started to create. And these are what I created for my sons. I thought I had more than one in here. Must be out here somewhere. When I did this, I used just standard copy paper. And I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but you can really see that. Stay in frame, Pat. You can really see that paper clip and feel it. But it works, it works good. It um I didn't give it a whole lot of room for a tab since that really wasn't what I was going for. It was more just for decor and to hold things. But you can see that's as far as the clip goes down. So I do have a little tab up there where I could put a label if I wanted to. And that's what the back side looks like. So I made a bunch of these for him. And as I was making them, you know, I had to kind of design it and I thought, well, I need to do that for possibly to go with all of the different junk journal booklet kits. But more about that in just a bit because I want to show you how easy this is. Now, I am going to do to make some without a digital. And so what I'm using is the March freebie for Jonquil Cottage. 
which is available in my Petresca Papers Facebook group for free. But I want to show you that you don't need a digital. The digital is just nice if there's a certain look you're after. So the first thing you do is you fold it in half. And you want to be accurate. So you're going to fold that in half. All right. And then you need a paper clip. And I've got the, the jumbo ones. You could use a small one. Do I have a small one here? I thought I did. Because we're going to try it with the large and with the small. All right. But first, let's go for the large. What you will do is... Put it on that fold. I'm going to put two because that will help guide me. So I'm going to now fold up right underneath those paper clips. Okay, I've got my fold started so I'm going to remove them because I don't want them embedding into the paper as I burnish. So right there. Okay. So there's one fold. I'm going to put this back on so I can get the other fold on this other side. Am I, I hope I'm staying in frame. I feel like my, my camera is a bit wonky today. I apologize. I'll, I'll work on it better. I'll watch for it. This you fold up. So it's at the bottom of that short side of the paper clip. And then fold that. I'm matching those sides so that I'm getting a straight fold. All right. Okay. Now we're going to trim this into the size clips we want. I'm going to remove this white right along this edge and I'm going to cut them about as wide as this and I think, let's see, I think I want them an inch and a half. They could be thinner and they could be thicker. It's just up to you. Okay. There's one, and let's go, let's do one on this side here. Take that white off. Oh, come on. This trimmer does not like to start on that edge. And let's go right there. All right, so now we are going to round corners on where are, we are folding. So I'm going to round, let's see if I can get my corner rounder in the right place. So I want this rounded. You do not have to do the corner rounding, but it's it's a nice way. It, it kind of finishes it off. And this, let's see, what do we want to do with this? We'll just fold that over a little bit. Actually, we're not going to do a tab on this. We'll just go all the way down. Okay. Straight and we'll round that. Okay, let me quickly do this one also. So, punch, punch, and this get in there. And you know, we love to tell you that. Oh, I didn't need to do that inside, but I did. Uh, 
We love to tell you that you don't always have to distress. So I am not going to distress this time. And let's see how it goes. But usually it's really good if you distress inside because then your white is not as likely to show. Okay, I'm going to pull this one over and leave a little tab on that one. All right. So I know that Bohemian Crafting has on the on their digitals, she has written long side of the clip, short side of the clip, but when you're looking at this, it's pretty obvious that the long is going to go there with the short there. Okay, so once you've got it cut and rounded and distressed, if you're going to distress it, I like to put my glue on the short side first and fold it up just like that. And then the long side. I do the outer piece, pull that up, make sure that I'm getting that adhered on the sides. I'm not pushing too much on that clip because I don't want that to be so predominant. And then on this little flap. Let's try this one with a smaller clip. It probably would be better if it were folded differently, but let's see what it does with just this small clip. Okay. I don't know, but we'll find out. All right, let's do the small side first. You're still going to get the, uh, the grip from the paper clip. It just won't be the same amount of, of length that you, you will be overlapping your page when you use it. Okay. Oh, this is what I want up here. You can see right there, I've got a little extra peeking over. Do a little trim right there. And on this side. And then let's glue this down and let's try them in. The Jonquil Cottage. Little junk journal pamphlet booklet. All right, so this is the large one, large paper clip. So that one comes down here and that sticks up there. I love when it sticks out. And then this was the little one. Let's try it sideways. And it, you know, it works just fine. It, so if you don't have the large jumbo clips, the little ones work just the same. Okay. And I did make one previously, and I put a eyelet and a bulb pin in a little little charm on it. Look how cute that is. And that one sticks out further. Okay. All right. Now, I have created four digital kits. 
So the first one is for Bluebird Bungalow. And I've created the little houses. And here is the cute clip. And I am going, my goal is to do this for all the different Home Sweet Homes kits that I've done. But so far, this is the first one, the Bluebird Bungalow. And it will slip on the pages, either sideways or to the top. Okay? So there's digital kit number one. And then this one is for the Jonquil Cottage. And see, I've got these all folded and ready to be punched and be rounded and then put the paper clips on. So this one coordinates with this booklet kit that is available on my Etsy site and it's called Jonquil Cottage. Oh, I see what I didn't do on that one. Give me a sec here. This kind of bugs me. Let's punch that and that. I don't know why. The round, the rounded is just a bit more pleasing, at least to me. Okay? All right. And again, there's love this pansy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's two that goes with Jonquil Cottage. And then I thought, well, since I'm creating these for my upcoming journals I'm doing for my family, this is for my daughter-in-law. She's one generation removed from being Irish. Her father was born in Ireland. So her journal will be lots of green. And I found some fun little images and created this digital just in time for St. Patty's Day. All right. And then number four is in honor of my daughter-in-law who is a, a, a backyard gardener. So I've got some fun little images here and used some of her favorite colors and created a really fun little design of digital kit for the garden theme. Okay, so these four kits will be available on my Etsy shop and I will link that down below. And again, that freebie paper, which is this, is available on my Petresca Papers Facebook page. And I will link that down below. Um, oh, one more word about paper. So this is a little thicker. This is a 80 pound, this is what I ordered on Amazon, and I really do like it versus just, I don't know if you can hear the difference or see this has got some resistance where just the regular copy weight is just a little thinner. Works fine, but I did want to try it with that thicker thicker paper all right well i think that is all for today i think i've covered everything thank you again so much for watching i truly do appreciate your support hope to see you again soon take care bye bye